The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning. Today is December 17th, and the time is 9.30. Before we get started, I want to make sure that everyone that's on the webinar can hear us okay. And the way we can tell is if you would just please raise your hand. It's a good indicator. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have several hands raised. If you could just um, put your hands down so we don't confuse that with you wanting to provide comments later in the meeting, that would be helpful. All right. So welcome and thank you for attending the State Board of Nursing's stakeholder meeting via webinar today. Before we get started, we'd like to introduce the staff members from the Division of Professions and Occupations that are present. My name is Elena Kemp, and I'm a regulatory coordinator with the division. Also attending, we have Ms. Roberta Hills. She's the program director, and Darcy Magnuson. She's the regulatory analyst. We will, uh, in compliance with the governor's orders regarding COVID-19, the division has transitioned to a platform that is 100% virtual, and we appreciate your flexibility. As many of you have attended DORA stakeholder meetings before, we would like to reiterate the importance of your comments today. DORA makes decisions every day that may affect your life and your business, so your input is important in the rulemaking process. Throughout this process, our goal is to um, make sure that we uh, create regulations that clarify and explain legislation, ensure minimum competency to enter and continue to practice, and provide only what is absolutely necessary for consumer protection without creating unnecessary bar barriers to the marketplace. Your input will be part of the information that goes to the board as it considers adopting um, new rules. More specifically, today we will be discussing the implementation of Colorado Senate Bill 19079. This bill requires certain practitioners to prescribe controlled substances electronically. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted on the website at a later date. And as the stakeholder meeting is held solely via webinar, please raise your hand using the hand icon if you'd like to speak. And if you, and we will unmute your line so you can be heard by everyone or you can type your comment in the question section and we can read it aloud. For anyone that is planning to provide comments, please state your name and the name of the, rep the organization that you represent, if any. Feel free to provide gen either general comments on the rule changes or specific comments on the proposed language. Try to keep your comments limited to three to five minutes or less. And also, if you're just trying to state that you're in full agreement with someone, that would work just fine. You don't have to really go into detail and, and repeat everything that someone else has said. We will note that. If you are using audio through your computer, please remember to put any phones on vibrate or turn them off. And whether or not you're using computer or phone audio, try to keep all background noises to a minimum when speaking. So at this point, you should be able to see my screen. We have the draft rule. Oh, one second, my apologies. Okay. This is the proposed rule to implement Senate Bill 19079. Once again, if you do want to provide comments, all you have to do is raise your hand and we will unmute you. It looks like we have one hand raised by Miss Stephanie Solis. Oh, it looks like maybe something's going on with your audio. Good morning. I, we received a comment from Miss Solis. So good morning to you as well. So once again, the purpose of this stakeholder meeting is really to provide um, public input 
for the board to receive and consider before they consider like changes to these rules or adopting this new rule, shall I say? Okay, Elena, this is uh, Roberta Hills, and I was wondering, um, I had an email where someone had asked, what, how is um, the state defining um, electronic prescribing? And the rest of the question was, does it include faxing? And um, I don't see that in here. Do we have any um, way of getting a definition? Well, um, and Darcy, feel free to chime in. Yeah, I was going to say, let's look at the statute and see what the statute says um, about e-scribing and if it says anything about um, a definition in the statute. So what you see on the screen is should have been sent to everyone as well, but this is Senate Bill 19079. So we're just looking for definitions that would clarify that question. Hmm. Those look to be and Roberta, we can certainly look into that, but I think that one of the things that we need to keep in mind for this, this is Darcy, by the way, for this particular rulemaking um, is that the statute is very clear on what the board shall promulgate rules on. Um, and so I'm not sure that the board has the authority to clarify the definition of electronic prescribing in rule. And so that may need to be something that's handled at the legislative um, level, just because the statute is very clear that the board has to make rules on what is included in the draft rule that um, Elena was showing on the screen earlier. Right. I, I, I agree. I mean, I, we can uh, deal with that definition later. Yeah, it's, it's 27, the, the bill is 27 pages and I don't know off the top of my head if it was in here. So maybe that's a question that we can get back to later and um, respond off um, or not during the stakeholder meeting. I don't see any other hands raised or any questions in the question section. Oh, looks like we might have one now. Okay, so we have a comment from a Miss Shelley Belknap. CMS describes e-prescribing as e-prescribing is a prescriber's ability to electronically send an accurate, error-free, and understandable prescription directly to a pharmacy 
from the point of care. To remove the fax and handheld scripts and reduce error. Thank you for that, Ms. Belknap. And she's also provided a link that I will try to share with the entire group. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that link in the chat feature. So everyone has access to that. Okay. So there's no further comments or questions. The time is currently 9.41. Um, we'll give it a few more minutes just in case someone is typing in a question. So we'll wait until about 9.43. And if we don't have any other stakeholder feedback, then we'll go ahead and proceed with the meeting. And once again, for anyone that's just joining the webinar, we're just right now, we have the draft rule on the screen, um, but this is your opportunity to provide your feedback on the proposed rule so we can provide it to the board. Okay, the time is now 9.43. We still don't have any <clears throat> participants that would like to provide feedback. So we'll go ahead and proceed. Thank you for participating in today's meeting. All stakeholder comments and program recommendations will be presented to the board for review during their next board meeting, which is January 27th, 2021. The board will consider permanent adoption of this rule at the formal rulemaking hearing, which is tentatively scheduled for April 21st, 2021. If you do want to provide comments on this rule at a later time, this is not your only opportunity. Um, you can always submit written comments to the email address that's provided on the notice. And that email address is Dora underscore DPO underscore rulemaking at state.co.us. So we'll be accepting comments all the way up until the date of the hearing. So that concludes the stakeholder meeting. And thank you again for your participation. I'm going to end the webinar now. <laughs>